As mayor, how would you help develop the self-care district of Sheboygan? Sheboygan was once considered the city of Elms. Did you know that? I just learned that in a video. Um, the city of bratwurst and beer, the best city to raise your family. Now it sounds like we are the city of South Pier and becoming the city with the new casino. This seems to be the only solution offered to resuscitate South Pier. The people supporting it say that Sheboygan is desperate and needs to get back on her feet. I absolutely agree, but we can be more creative with our options. We are looking at a cookie cutter solution and we're a unique city that has a lot more to offer than that. To develop South Pier, I would focus attention on the assets that everybody agrees on. The comprehensive plan for Sheboygan, as well as most officials, agree that the Lake, Lake Michigan is our greatest asset. In developing South Pier, I would focus on that greatness, preserve the ability for citizens to access it, I think the idea of a pedestrian bridge that has been looked into across the river is a great idea. My wife and I live in the Ellis Historic District and what we walk along the riverfront a few times a week. And oftentimes we think about, oh, should we go over to Lino's or this ice cream parlor at golf, but it's kind of a pain to go around. I think uh, more fluid interchange between both sides would be really, really cool. Additionally, I see more people using South Pier for its recreational use than anything else. We should augment ways for people to spend their whole day there. A public park with interactive art and activities and access to the beachfront would bring longer visits to the area. Think of Millennium Park in Chicago. They could have decided to build another string of businesses there to generate revenue and a tax base, but they chose to accentuate its position on the lake and create a very memorable and interactive park with a beautiful pavilion for performances. That choice has boosted the entire downtown economy in Chicago. Now it is one of the first places that visitors want to see when they go to Chicago. And just in response to this idea of people coming um, and spending the whole day here, can you try to imagine something with me? Seriously, how many times do you hear someone say, we're going to go up to Oneida, we're going to go down to Potawatomi, and we're going to, you know, spend the afternoon patronizing our local economy, and then we're gonna head over and gamble for a little bit, and then out to dinner at a local restaurant, and then stay in a local resort, and we're just gonna spend all this money in local shops. I don't think that happens. Usually the people talk to me that are going to the casino say, I leave my credit cards at home, I bring only the money I wanna lose that night, and I go up there, do it, and I'm back.